Hello my dear friends and today we are going to discuss the Bitcoin chart again. We will go to the Primex BT exchange and understand what happened to Bitcoin, what is about to happen to Bitcoin. We will try to analyze and predict the movements. We are going to share our thoughts, our ideas and down in the comments under this video you can write all your thoughts and opinion and you can interact with other subscribers. So it's gonna be very interesting discussion, communication as we usually do this so this week has been very interesting so as we usually do we open a bitcoin chart on the prime xbt exchange and after two bearish weeks the market is in the bullish momentum and if we now break through the resistance level in the area of twenty five thousand dollars then move to these thirty thousand dollars could be very fast well actually the main thing here is not to uh fix in this area as we can see here we have several resistance lines and ema 50 and the upper bollinger band as we noted earlier this is the resistance level in the area of 24 25 thousand dollars per bitcoin and as you can see the weekly candlestick has already gone beyond it it has broken through the upper border of this level but hasn't yet fixed now a new green candlestick is appearing but let's see what happens this week in order to go up and fix there we need only one 20 percent monthly candlestick that will bring us to thirty thousand dollars per bitcoin historically such 20 percent candlesticks are not uncommon this is very often and february actually is a one green monthly candlestick in the crypto market now the main thing is not to fall lower the support level of 21 thousand dollars well let's look at the daily chart we marked all the necessary levels mm -hmm. and including this support level indicated the zone in which we are going to trade and as we can see we left this zone without reaching the lower border ema 50 also helped us here and now we have reached the upper um, bollinger band on the daily chart for a bitcoin and we are trading in this zone and i want to clarify that this zone is very important historically because in the period from july to august 2022 there was a flat zone here and it lasted for several weeks but we couldn't fix about this trading channel and we went down went down far and now the situation may change and as i already said in the last video before the decisions of fed the most favorable scenario was a long position on bitcoin from the marks around twenty one thousand dollars and actually we expected the decision of fed let's look at the 15 minute time frame how it was and actually in this zone in february we see how will it tell the chart was due to this news we dropped to twenty one thousand three hundred fifty five dollars per bitcoin and in fact at the same time it would be possible to uh, go along what i actually did then i fixed it in the area of twenty four thousand eight hundred dollars per bitcoin in this interval it's for you to understand that I didn't expect that we would immediately be able to break through $25,000 but actually it happened and we have already broken through it several times and now we are waiting for further actions. Well, actually the main thing when you trade, switch off your emotions and only stick into your strategy and trade system entry points and then the long profit is guaranteed well bitcoin's bull run is underpinned by the emergence of ordinals protocol which allows nft to be stored on the bitcoin blockchain the ordinals protocol sparked this interest in bitcoin's mining and led to an increase in the average block size and user growth well actually there is a possibility that ordinals and the increase in this overall cost of transactions and security in the bitcoin blockchain should lead to an increase in its price well we can expect the movements in the area of 24 25 dollars for a bitcoin well actually a series of u.s regulatory actions have lighted the risks that many large blockchains could face a tough stance from sec chairman gary Kanzler, who believes that 
the most token uh, securities Bitcoin is only a reliable exception to this rule it is considered a commodity. Actually, 2023 for me is not a bullish year in general and nothing is happening in the market that can increase the real growth of this stock and cryptocurrency market. And if it's growing, then it's better to fix some profit and trade free coins now. Well, we will see because our scenario is the move to $25,000. We worked it from the lower uh, level to the upper one and now we will be having some flat zone for a while dropping lower to $24,000 level and to $23,800 for Bitcoin well in general we need to focus on this white line that we have put in the area of $23,500 we may go back to $21,000 and here we have a moving average of Bollinger and also we have the support as 50 EMA below so a more likely scenario is a hike to $27,000, $28,000 per Bitcoin to this trading zone. And here we will see the possible growth for the distribution of coins. And very often in history, a change in trend was accompanied by the transfer of assets from one hand to another. And most likely at the moment, it will occur in the given zone that we have noted here and actually a couple of daily candlesticks up to $27,000 in this format are enough and after that a shared impulse up to $30,000 is possible but can we stay here actually it's unlikely because uh, this is about the belief that everyone will actually start buying bitcoins everyone will believe in it and this belief uh, will be destroyed by manipulators and after that we will wait for going down to $12,000 actually for me a better strategy would be to trade with free coins and already in this zone I will fix most of my positions uh, profitable because many already believe that this was the true market bottom but I doubt it I remind that the true bottom can be in the area of $12,000 for Bitcoin and when manipulator will bring this price down from $30,000 to $12,000 how it was in 2020 during the events of coronavirus uh, situation then there was a big drop and this can also happen again from $12,000 Bitcoin really dropped to $3,000 for Bitcoin yes people really stopped believing in Bitcoin and didn't buy it but at the same time uh, big players kept their assets and increased their positions and then this led to a large increase in their capital to the upper highs now the scenario is probably similar and there may be some major events such as regulation of the cryptocurrency or scam of some cryptocurrency exchanges well now we need to watch what's gonna happen at the area of 24 25 thousand dollars for bitcoin and there is a possibility that we will fix here and then will stay we need to wait and see here this is the very important trend level and the flat zone well guys it's very important to be very careful watch all the news happening and write in the comments what do you think about the chart of bitcoin and actually in general about the cryptocurrency market so guys it's been the bitcoin chart this week and now we just need to watch this to understand what's happening try to predict try to feel all these steps that are going to happen write in the comments what do you think about this situation what strategy are you going to use and do you know how to switch off your emotions of course you do and do you know how to stick to your strategy if not yet i'm inviting you to my telegram chat there i will teach you how to understand your strategy how to stick to it and how to apply it very correctly in order to get your profit